feet seem like they're really big. Uh-huh. How many toes? Or maybe whatever the shape is. No, they're human. They're humanoid. Uh-huh. Okay. It's hard to tell how many. Five or six. Uh-huh. And when you say big, is it much bigger than human feet? Yeah, it seems very big. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, way bigger than human feet, almost. Uh-huh. Like the size of, like, an elephant or bigger. Uh, it's see. really big. Uh-huh. Very big, too. Uh-huh. There's a lot of mass to my body. There's a lot of what? Mass. A lot of mass to my body. Uh-huh. And take a look, little by little, from your the bottom to your head. Same with my legs. My legs are thick. They're massive. Um, uh-huh. And what is that? It's strong, really. Uh-huh. Super strong. Do they look like human legs? Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, they're, it's humanoid, but it's like I'm a giant, uh -huh. giant, gigantic humanoid. Yeah, what, what is your skin color? It's sort of, uh, it's like a mm -hmm. light, light, it's almost light brown, uh -huh. like almost sort of like a cream color. Uh -huh. sort of, uh -huh. It's hard to tell. So it's brown, but like cream? Well, almost like uh, like light, really light coffee. Uh huh. So compared with a human, like uh, person's skin, it's not the, the same color. It or a different texture. It's very human. Mm. It's, it seems thicker. Everything about it is uh, sort of thicker. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. So take a look of your face. Mm -hmm. Like you can just look at yourself from the, your, something right in front of you. You can really really long hair. Uh huh. What's the is it black hair? It's color. No, it's more. It's funny. There's very little color to me. It's like mm. light, light, almost, almost. It's not quite white, but it's not quite blonde. Uh huh. Uh huh. Almost as if it's all, all the same color. It's that light. Light color? Green, green oh. color. Oh, like the, the skin color. Mm. Yeah, it's all very similar. Mm. Okay, and how long? Uh, there's a breeze, so it's sort of blowing around. Uh-huh. It's, it's pretty long. Uh -huh. I would say at least it's longer than the shoulders. Uh -huh. Down to the, sh down to the, sh the, sh the shoulder blades. Uh-huh. Okay, long. I see. And so do you feel you're a male? Yes. Uh-huh. And, okay, tell me about your face. Is it just like human? Just Bigger? Well, it's smiling, like it's grinning, like just sort of happy. It's wider. Uh -huh. so my face is very wide. Uh huh. And you're smiling. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, oh, any clothes? What? I feel like I'm wearing a lot of necklaces. Uh huh. A lot of jewelry. I thought I saw jewelry around my ankles as well. Uh huh. But it feels. I keep on thinking of the the term Stone Age. Oh, I see. I, see. I don't know exactly what it just, is. Just trust that okay. mm, that thought. Uh huh. And so, so you're not wearing clothes. Maybe a loincloth, kind of almost like I'm wearing a tiger skin. Uh huh. Uh, I see. Lion skins, that sort of thing. Uh -huh. Feels Stone Age. Uh huh. I see. And um, so, how how do you feel right now at this moment? I feel good. It's a beautiful day. Uh huh. And if you look around, tell me what's uh, your the surroundings look like. There's waterfalls. Uh huh. Giant waterfalls. Uh huh. Everything is massive. Uh -huh. So let me ask: Do you feel this is Earth? No. Uh huh. So what what else that gets your Attention. It's all big. Mm -hmm. It's a bigger planet than Earth. Mm -hmm. Everything is wide open. Wide. Mm -hmm. It's wide. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like there are levels to the water, to the ocean, as if there are many levels to it. Many levels? Yes, to the water. Mm -hmm. Describe as much as you can. It's as if it's the ocean just goes out really far, but uh -huh. it's not deep where I am. It's sort of just right on the shore. Uh -huh. And there are waterfalls. Uh -huh. but the waterfalls are as if there's, it's as if there's a whole other level of ocean, like another shore that's elevated and it goes out mm -hmm. really far as well. Mm -hmm. It sounds beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. It's almost like it's, almost like it's land floating above land. Mm -hmm. And do you see any um, others who look like you? Yeah, I feel like there's a woman there with me. Uh huh. And feel the relationship. Who is who is she to you? She's my wife. Uh huh. She's happy too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is uh, the the reason that make you and her happy? What is that? We live. It's so beautiful where we live. It's 
It just goes on forever. It's just like a paradise. It's mm -hmm. just... There's nothing to worry. No, mm -hmm. nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful and it just feels good to be there. Mm -hmm. What do you do? We like to ask those questions just because we always feel we need to do something. But what do you do most of your time? We just enjoy being here. Mm -hmm. It's like it's our planet. We just enjoy being here. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to go a little bit deeper to see um, because you always remember and know the name of the planet. And you might see it one letter at a time or they just pop up. A word that came into my head was it's mm. like Xenon. Xenon? Yes, it's X-E-N-O-N. I, I see. So does this name have a meaning? Xenon? The word that came to my head is hero. Mm, very good. And do you have a name? So do this. Ask your wife. She knows your name, if you have one. Oh, Harold. What? Harold. Harold. Very good. And so how do you communicate with each other? We just talk. You, you, in words? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And what, um, what language? Mm -hmm. What do you say? It's angelic language. Say angelic. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So how do you say hi? Just make the sound. Mm -hmm. Just trust. Uh... Uh-huh. See? So, uh-huh. And when you say angelic language, so you and your wife or the beings here on this planet, mm -hmm. they are angels? Some form of angels. Uh huh. And do you see others? It's like they're spirits. Uh -huh. They can be there if they want to be. Uh -huh. It's like they can be there. It's almost it's like an mm. echo of spirits that just exist on the shores. Uh -huh. So when you say spirit, you um, you can you cannot really see them, but you feel the form, their energy. It's like they can. It's, it's like a mass of people, uh -huh. and they can all just appear there if they want to. Uh -huh. They don't have to be there if they don't want to be there. Mm. So what's the reason? Let's say it seems like you have a solid body. I mean, my body is. It can be solid, mm -hmm. and but you can you can uh, shift. It's sort of there and not there. Uh -huh. It's like if we want to be solid, we can be and mm -hmm. feel the place that feel the planet, mm -hmm. feel the water and the air. So so that means if you don't have the solid body, you cannot feel that much. That's a good question. You don't. It's like you're not there if you're not solid. Uh -huh. Sort of phasing there and phasing unfazing from me. Uh, uh -huh. And so, that's what it seems like they're all sort of phasing and unfazing there. Uh -huh. But what's the purpose? <sighs> the word that came to my head is meaning place. It's a meaning place. Meaning place. A meeting place. A meeting place. Yes. Now you know what I'm going to ask. So who do you meet there? Why people meet? For what purpose? It's a paradise. Uh -huh. They all we all go there to be in this paradise. Uh huh. To enjoy. Yes, I mean, you, I don't know if there's anything to do there, mm -hmm. but but to, just be to be there. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's as if. Mm -hmm. And so, um, maybe this is very earthly question. Um, do you learn anything there? I learn to be happy. Mm -hmm. It's like a place where you come to remember what it is to be happy. Mm -hmm. Everyone is just happy there. Mm -hmm. They're all just just feels beautiful to be there. You go there to feel what beauty feels like. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The white light is so. The light is so. It feels the light feels beautiful. So where's the light is from? It's like coming from the sun, but it's as if the whole universe horizon is light. It's like the sun is sort of uh -huh. making the light, but it's as if the entire horizon is. Oh, white light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, when you receive this white light, what do you, what this light make you feel? Complete. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and do you stay here long? There's no time. Mm -hmm. So you're just there. Mm -hmm. If you want to be there, mm -hmm. you're just there. So, what is the purpose of marriage? It's just sharing joy with someone else. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to look at, a, uh, look at a, your wife and feel her energy and tell me if this is someone that you feel is a, a person in Phil's life. It's my friend Lorel. Uh-huh. 
Mm. You feel the same type of connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what is uh, mm, so when you are on this planet? What does the concept concept of Earth mean to you? Earth is a smaller place. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like a tiny. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a little blue place. Mm -hmm. What kind of feeling Earth gives you when you think about it? It seems silly. Mm. Tell me more. It doesn't seem real. It seems like, why would you want to go there? Mm -hmm. Why people do go there? It seems so small. Mm. It's like we go there to pretend that we're not angels. Mm -hmm. That we're not these gigantic beings. Mm -hmm. For a reason. What do you can experience in a place so different from Xenon? Why this experience is necessary? Uh, meditation. Mm. It's like, I feel like I have to, it's the way I can understand humans. Mm -hmm. Try to understand why their lives, it's important about their lives. Mm -hmm. Why they, what's important to them, why they came to that planet. Mm -hmm. What it's like to be small. Mm -hmm. So, as the soul, Phil had this life as human and this is first time where he had this kind of experience uh, a million before. years uh-huh million years experience yes mm -hmm. why need that many times to learn something to feel to be a human it's almost like what it's like for a human to understand what it's like to be an angel mm -hmm. you need to be there for a million years mm -hmm. so that's what it's like to be an angel it's like you've existed for a million years mm -hmm. And that's, they don't know, they, it's so, their lives are so short, they, they don't understand. It's close to like what being existing for eternity is like. Mm -hmm. You come to the earth and you be there for a million years and you start to have an understanding of how long mm -hmm. an angel's life really. Mm -hmm. Why earth? I don't understand your question. Um, so, okay, so I understand that it's a, a, to experience the uh, limitations, mm -hmm. but why? Um, it, it can be other planets as well, but why? Yes, there's people from everywhere on Earth. Mm -hmm. They all come from everywhere. They come to Earth. Mm -hmm. everywhere in so the, Earth is kind of a special. Universe. It's a very like a different place compared with other planets. Earth has everybody from everywhere. Ah. Oh. So you you can be from any planet and end up on Earth. Mm -hmm. it's like if you look at Earth for too long, you end up there. Mm. So it's a very it's an ex exciting place. I don't know if I think it's exciting. Mm. What do you say? It's silly. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it feels real here. Old? Huh? Did you say it feels no, old? No, it feels real because everything is solid on Earth. It seems like it's solid. Uh -huh. I don't think it really is, but it seems like it is. Mm -hmm. So, let's say, I'm going to ask this question. So, Xenon, uh, can you Say uh, this is this planet is created by someone or some angels, uh huh, including you. Yeah. Uh huh. And so how, so you can create it like in a second. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So what takes to create a planet? Just seeing it, just imagining it. Uh huh. That's all. Uh huh. It's almost like every where we really exist is just in the light. Mm -hmm. It's just white light. Mm -hmm. it's, there's no time. Mm -hmm. And if you want to experience this feeling of given, even the idea of eternity is mm -hmm. a time, a, an experience of time in mm -hmm. some strange way, mm -hmm. because there isn't any at all. Mm -hmm. And so the angels, to be angels in the universe, they have to step down uh -huh. from nothing, from just white light mm -hmm. to eternity. Mm -hmm. Eternity is like a step down from the white light. Mm -hmm. and when so you they get used to being in time uh -huh. by being on my planet. So what time can do with time? Um, otherwise, it will not happen without the time. Time is how you grow things. And, uh -huh. and time is what is how you can be in reality, any form of reality. Mm -hmm. If you don't have time, then you don't experience any form of reality. Uh -huh. You need some form of time, but there are dimensions of time or layers of time. Mm -hmm. The earth, mm -hmm. it's a it seems, when I think about the earth, it looks really tiny to me. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a bubble of time, mm -hmm. like a bubble of three-dimensional time. So, so I want to ask this this question. So who designed earth or created earth? I, I thought I did, but that seems ridiculous. 
you, let's say, with others together? It's like if I say I did it because I'm God, mm -hmm. so I did it. Mm -hmm. So are you saying you are, because we are gods, or mm -hmm. you are, you represented? Well, the angels, they are God. Mm -hmm. They identify as God. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of separation between them and the I am. The I am is the everything. Mm -hmm. I am everything. Mm -hmm. So the I am, the angels are part of the I am. Mm -hmm. Part of the I am. Mm -hmm. The yeah. I am is everything. It's the white light. Mm -hmm. I am. It's the, it's the thing that knows itself to be everything. Mm -hmm. uh, angels are a step down from that. For what reason? To manifest reality. Mm -hmm. They help to manifest reality. Uh huh. So they can help to, let's say, uh, create a planet. Everything. Universe. Mm. If things want to be real in the universe, they have to step down. So let me ask. We t we use the word universe a lot, but what is when we say it's the one song? The one song. One song. One song. Mm. We sing it into reality. Mm. It's like the the I am is always singing. Mm. Can you try to sing? It's as if all voices are singing. Mm. There's a, 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 a the word you you. Uh huh. But that's just, if I try to put it into words, it's not right. Because uh -huh. it's always singing, it's just always, yeah. it's just always making sound. Uh -huh. So it's like making a universe. If you want to describe the song mm -hmm. with a word, you could say hue, uh -huh. or you could say om, uh -huh. or you could say ah, mm -hmm. you could say we. No, we is we is sort of how the angels see it because the we is because I am the we. The we are all of us. Mm -hmm. The we are all of us. Mm -hmm. So we are the I am. Does that make sense? Yes. I am, and then the angels are the multi multitude of the I am. So it's the we are. Mm -hmm. We 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 are. Mm -hmm. And but a planet like Earth is also necessary for souls to have certain experience to limit by limiting themselves to learn from it. What is the purpose of Earth? It's like a grain of sand uh -huh. in, the, in the void, in the black. It's like a single grain of sand in uh -huh. the black. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's so hard to put into words. Because I've seen it from far away. It looks like a little bubble uh -huh. in the blackness. It's like, in order to feel alone, you have to go there. Mm, alone? Yeah. Mm. To know what it's like to feel alone. Mm -hmm. and it, and you have to go there. I see. And alone means separation from the unity? Yeah. The we, because you can't, if you are an angel, there's no separation. Mm. It's always we, we all are. Mm -hmm. We all exist in eternity, and we are the I am. Mm -hmm. And so, if you want to know what it's like to be a person, a human, mm -hmm. then you have to go to the earth, and it's like so it's a bubble in the darkness. Uh -huh. And then you know what it's like to feel like you're not everybody all at once. Mm -hmm. Just a single, a single consciousness mm -hmm. without the connection to the I am. So now I, I don't understand why we have to some some so likely feels so uh, went to Earth and so like a million years. Why it needs to take this long? Well, for an angel, a million years is nothing. Uh -huh. But to be a human, yeah, that's a good question. Why? In order for an angel to understand what a human is, it takes a million years for a feeling separate. Because mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. that we're not separate so profoundly that it, you have to keep on experiencing separation over and over again mm -hmm. to really forget. Because it's so hard for us to forget that we are everything. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's so hard to forget. It takes that long mm -hmm. to really, really, really forget and for it to seem real. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel real. You keep on stepping out of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep snapping out of it because you know what it, everything is. The unity is so profound. So this forgetting is important to learn to have certain experience. Well, if you want to help the humans mm -hmm. and understand them, you have to be able to know what they feel that they don't know. That they don't know. That but they chose not to know. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's different for them because they, they. It's so much more real for them. Mm -hmm. Not know, no, not knowing who, who they're not all angels. Mm -hmm. But you said that they're from all over the place, mm -hmm. right? And so they all want to have this kind of experience mm -hmm. to learn from it, to make themselves complete by forgetting. I don't know if it makes you complete. 
it just is an experience. Mm -hmm. But if th this experience it doesn't, it's not something like on um, Xenon, uh, it's pleasant, it's, much, it's very challenging. Um, so Yes, you, it can be because you forgot that it doesn't have to be. So you, it's like, it's like wearing a lot of coats. Mm -hmm. You just keep on putting on layers of forgetting so that it can be challenging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's more interesting for some reason. Mm. So what a, what is that Earth has that attracts souls? It has mystery. Mm -hmm. Not knowing creates mystery, mm -hmm. and that is that is fun. Mm -hmm. The mystery is fun. Mm -hmm. Not knowing. So so let's say before uh, the soul came to Earth, they can they choose the the life. How to say the th theme. Um, but when they're here, they can create a, a different life, different from the plan? It's like a lot of the people are living here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to identify with them. Mm -hmm. They're living in a whole other reality bubble. Mm -hmm. And they're evolving in this whole other way. So uh, why, why so different from your reality? Because they're not, they're not all eternal like I am. I know that sounds weird, but... It, they, they some people are people, if that makes any sense. They, you know, they, they could have come from different planets, mm -hmm. but they could have evolved on this planet mm -hmm. from animals. Yes. They could have evolved from uh -huh. single cell organisms uh -huh. and up through so they are animals and become people here. Uh -huh. So some of the people, a lot of the people on this planet, they evolved here from the animals. I see. Or bugs. Bugs. No, that's a different. Bugs are... Oh, wow, bugs are really weird. Oh. Bugs are almost like machines. Oh. It's strange. But they That's have so souls. Strange. I don't even know. Mm. They are they in the two D world? Bugs are bugs in the two D world. So two D. No, no, they're three D. Uh -huh. Anything that is that okay. walks around on Earth. Oh, uh, it's a three D. Yeah, it's. Mm. Why do you tell us a little bit more about bugs? There's some darkness around bugs. Mm. What do you mean by that? It's almost like they. Like I'm seeing like this dark, it's almost like an insect god. Oh. There's a darkness to it. Uh -huh. So they, in a way they're being controlled? I don't know. Mm. I'm having trouble making sense out of it. Mm. I don't identify with it very well. Mm. Okay. So how about plants? Plants are, it's like a, plants are the way energy flows through the planet. It's like, I'm trying to go deep. Mm. Keep breathing. Sorry, I'm feeling tense. Mm. From thinking about plants? No, just my body. Uh -huh. And focus on this tense. This t tensions are from somewhere for a reason. It's hard for me to be baptized. There's a part of my consciousness that is awake. That's okay. You're doing very well. So just keep breathing. And each exhale, you can let yourself go deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. And let your body keep sinking down and down. You are thinking about, about the whales and elephants. Uh -huh. They're, They're angels too. Uh -huh. How about dolphins? Dolphins are like there are dolphins everywhere. They dolphins. They're like dolphins in space as well. Oh. They're free. Dolphins are. They're so happy. Mm -hmm. They swim. It's like space is the ocean also. It's like mm. it's the space, outer space is the ocean as well. Uh -huh. It's cosmic ocean. Oh, there's such a thing, huh? Yeah, it's all just particles of light and matter all just flowing. The entirety of space is just like the ocean. Mm. So it's called a cosmic ocean? Yeah, it's all just particles of light and matter mm. just flowing, floating, floating, uh -huh. flowing. Uh the dolphins, they just swim around in the space as well. They, uh -huh. are they they're so free. Those it's oceans, fun for them. Uh -huh. they are far from Earth. We like to always know how far it's from Earth. I'm sorry, I have trouble so with distance because it's all the same thing. Uh -huh. The flow, the space is all just this one uh -huh. giant ocean of light and matter flowing. Uh -huh. It's all the same. So there's nothing to measure. It just keeps going. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, when you say elephants and whales are mm. angels, so they came from xenon? <laughs> they came from the white light as well. Xenon is just a way to manifest eternity. Uh-huh, I see. So let me, uh, before I go back to the elephants and okay. whales, so how about the archangels? Yeah. Do they have a certain place to stay or they're always there everywhere? They can be anywhere. They're just, they're, they're almost like a universe. Uh -huh. Like their body contains the universe. Uh, mm -hmm. And so what? Uh, so they, it's like Michael, Archangel Michael is this universe. Uh -huh. We're in his body. So universe is in his body? <laughs> yeah, it's like he contains the our universe uh -huh. inside of him. Uh -huh. So if you talk to him, it's like You're talking to talking the universe. To the universe. Uh -huh. And yeah. What is his responsibility? He's responsible to contain us all. Mm. He gives us all light, mm. us all light. Mm. He gives us all life. Mm. So, he, uh -huh. yeah. So everything he does, everything. He just is everything. He uh -huh. is like every archangel is like another universe. Uh -huh. So we're in his inside of his universe. Mm. We're in, yeah. So we're in his universe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So now, go, oh, before that, what is a seraphim? They're lions. Uh huh. They protect us all. They're like a group of angelic lions, they protect us all. Oh. Uh, protect us from anything negative? Yeah, you know, the universe is made up of so many different consciousnesses that are all inside of Michael. And they're all operating on their own game, sort of. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes their games aren't to be in the oneness. Uh -huh. Sometimes their games are about power. They want to experience power. Uh -huh. They want to experience ultimate power, mm. magnificent power. Uh -huh. and but sometimes in order to experience power, you have to dominate others. Mm -hmm. It's strange, but I guess that's the abuse of power. Mm -hmm. So after they experience that power, then what they do? I think they have to learn. Mm -hmm. Then they have to put themselves in the shoes of the people they abused, they abused uh -huh. and dominated to see what that felt like to lose all the power. Mm -hmm. So this is also you can cause some sort of karma you're creating. Yeah, you can call it karma. Karma is just a word. Mm. You can call it whatever you want. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's just a word. But <sighs> the lions yes. are there to make sure that it, the people that are being abused, mm -hmm. if they are tired of it, they, Be they ask for protection. Uh -huh. And the lions, they come and protect them uh -huh. from the people who are experiencing power. The lions know that this is a game. I keep on seeing things in like circles of 12, it's oh. interesting, uh -huh. and it's like 12 lions, mm. they're like angel lions. Oh. Why this 12? It's a special number. Yeah, it's a good question. It's, a, it's like the same as the zodiac. The Is it like a cycle? Yeah, it seems to. I want to, if you add one and two together, it makes three, and three is a powerful oh. triangle. Oh, trinity. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's four threes, four trinities. It's it's like a perfect balance somehow. Mm. But it's also like a cosmic clock, like a, mm. a cycle in these cosmic clocks. And mm. they're like these wheels within wheels that create motion in the universe inside of Michael. Mm. Inside of Michael. Yeah. Mm like these cosmic clocks. Oh boy, it's so hard to explain. Mm, but you did a good job. Thank you. Mm. So the lions are there to keep these cosmic clocks, mm -hmm. this balance in motion. Mm. So when people who wanted to experience power mm. are going too far with it, or the people who wanted to experience being powerless, it's too much for them, they call. Mm -hmm. And Lion. the, the lions, mm -hmm. they come and so they save them. So, okay, or they, or they, they stop the powerful ones uh -huh. from going too far. Oh. They so keep them in check. Oh, so there is some... They create balance. I see. So how about the, the let's say, negative energy on Earth? Uh -huh. The lion can also balance that? Yeah, definitely. Mm. You just have to ask them so, to protect you. In how, the world. To, how to ask? David, I'm hearing the word David. Oh. I don't know who David is. Uh -huh. Let's find out a little bit more. The House of David. House of David? Yeah. Mm. He's uh, the, per the being who's in charge. The House of David, you know that Jesus comes from the House of David. Mm. He's the lion. They talk about him as the lion. They're just here to protect them. Mm -hmm. they, but, uh, mm. they just want to make sure that 
things don't go too far out of balance. Yes. So they're here to protect us, to make sure that we don't go too far if with it, whatever our crazy fantasies are. So we, mm -hmm. but I almost never heard uh, that we can ask for lions to help. Yeah. Mm. So we just uh, call, let's say, David, House of David. Call on the House of David. House of David. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so if we don't ask for help, mm -hmm. they, well, we cannot just automatically get help. You have to ask. You're supposed to ask. It's up to you. No. If we're tired of uh, being abused. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So lion, it, this animal on earth also has a, they have, how to say, special, they are a little bit special animals. They're so proud and powerful. Oh, so for a reason. They are also in control of themselves. Mm. So they wield might, but they have self-control. Oh. They're powerful. Uh -huh. But their, their pride, the pride keeps them mm. contained. So they have no desire to hurt anybody. No. They don't have any desire to, they're, they're just, they, it's sort of the way I was trying to describe the angels, where the angels are the we, mm -hmm. and that's what they are, they just are that thing, and the, the lions are proud mm. and powerful, mm. and they, that's, they are just being that thing, they're being that, and so they, they show people who have gone too far out of balance in either direction, they, you you use them as an example of how to become more self-contained mm. and balanced. Mm. So their pride and balances the power, mm. and the power balances the pride. Mm, interesting. So they they do that in an in an, in entire universe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so they really look look like type a, a lion. They're like lion people. They're like people that are lions. Mm. They're big too, mm. and they're. Uh, they're, they're really magnificently dressed. dressed. I mean, they can dress however they want, but uh. they are really magnificent. There's so, a lot of gold on them. Uh, so it's kind of fancy. Robes and uh. sort of futuristic too, though. I'm seeing almost like gauntlets on their wrists. Mm. They have, their hands are four fingers. Uh -huh. They're like paws, but they're hands. Oh. It's funny. Oh. I can see them wielding like staffs as well. They're giants too. They're big. Oh. Why they look like human? Why they need to look like human? Well, we understand them better. Uh -huh. But human is like a shape that God does. Uh -huh. God does this, that shape. Uh -huh. Even the angels are humanoid, you know. Mm, I see. So there's a reason. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the it's, it's shape that God does. I mean, mm -hmm. even Michael as the universe is a humanoid shape. Mm -hmm. The universe inside. Mm -hmm. So Archangel Michael also looks like human. He looks like... Well, it's like a humanoid shape, but inside of it is space and mm. is all of the universe. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he, so, he just contains it all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there's uh, uh, any uh, connection between the, those lions and uh, and Lyra, the planet Lyra? Oh yeah. Uh huh. Oh, there's a beautiful gold light that comes from there. Uh huh. Yeah, I see them all emanating out of there. Ah. Uh -huh. It just like there's a lot of music that comes out of Lyra. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm hearing it's like a high pitch. Uh -huh. What's that music uh, represents? It's the angels singing. Uh -huh. And the lions, they, uh -huh. it's like they manifested out of Lyra from heaven. Uh -huh. So they are from Lyra? The lions are, yeah. Definitely. Mm. definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, now it's a different question. So so is uh, Phil, is your energy is also lion, from yes. us? It's a, from Lyra, so it's a Lyra. 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 Yeah, but I'm a lion too. When you say that, explain more. I guess it's another part, aspect of who I am, is the lion. Mm -hmm. They're here to protect it's us. To protect mm. Yeah. How about being a Palladian? That's also. Uh, well, the Palladians. Uh -huh. <sighs> they're like another group of angels, but they're. Uh -huh. It's like tiers or levels, or. You know, we were talking about the spiral, it's like heaven. You just keep on spiraling up and up and up into the light. Uh -huh. And when you want to manifest into reality, it's just spiraling down, down, down into different levels of light. And it's like the, in the universe, there are these different tiers of heavenly light that are coming from different parts of the universe. Uh -huh. at different galaxies or, or s s solar systems, star systems. Mm -hmm. They're like these different heavenly tiers that are spiraling down there. As you spiral down from the, 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 the I am, the light, mm -hmm. it spirals down into different levels of the universe, these tiers, and that's Lyra is sort of like a golden tier. Oh. 
that the lions come from. And then if you, uh, it's weird, it's almost like the, they manifested lower levels of the universe. They created lower levels, like lower spirals, tiers of light. And so the Pleiades is sort of like a blue manifestation, a blue tier of sixth, fifth, I mean, you can see seventh dimensional. Uh -huh seventh sixth fifth dimensional light mm -hmm. so they're almost like the children of the lions the, the pleiadians oh. they're like their children it's like the lions made them oh. they manifested them uh -huh. just the way the angels manifested the lions and the way that oh. i am manifested the angels. Oh. so it's like these different levels of god and they they love their love they feel love so profoundly that they want to make, mm -hmm. they want to make more of that. Uh -huh. Why? Mm -hmm. So that it's like, but they don't, you know, like they don't just, you know, people give birth, mm -hmm. they get pregnant, they have children, but these beings are, they manifest their children through light. So they just, uh -huh. it's like a swath. It's like, a, it's like they give birth to a cosmos, like a, like a with a sweep of an arm, they just give birth uh -huh. to a whole galaxy. Whole, sort of lower levels of universes they do that because they feel such immense love mm -hmm. and they want to create more mm -hmm. more of that and it's that's how you do that it's just by offering more light into the universe mm -hmm. i can i can even feel that love when you're talking about this yeah it just sweeps out it's like a sweep of an arm and it just just gives birth to stars mm -hmm. it's, it's so simple mm -hmm. because, and the pleiades because... were just sort of part of that they wanted to create more love and they mm. they manifested this lower level of the universe mm. that, like see. a lower lower down on the spiral was the Pleiades. I see. So uh, it's funny because the earth whenever I see the earth it's like this little bubble in the darkness. What what it, what is the, the darkness is like what makes the darkness? I almost want to say evil but I don't know what that is. That, take a, a closer look. That's what it makes the darkness. There's like a hunger to it. Hunger. It's like a, a force of annihilation. Mm. It's, I guess evil is it's not really the right word, but mm -hmm. it's the uncreator. Oh. It's that it's the darkness has to be there so you can experience what it feels like to be alone. Uh -huh. if, if it wasn't there, you wouldn't know what it's like to be alone. Uh -huh. But what this uh, darkness, let's say, is uh, created by or is from? Who created? <sighs> It's like the mirror, it's like the opposite of a sun. Mm -hmm. So you said that those uncreators. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to understand. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the, the yin yang symbol, mm -hmm. the dark and the light, yeah. light and dark. It's a play. It's a play. It's sort of mm -hmm. movement, it creates but, movement. But, but this energy is from somewhere. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure it can be from somewhere. Mm. Can you communicate with the energy? Find out. What do you want me to ask? Mm -hmm. Like, let's find out if they are, they were created. Who is they? The dark energy. The dark is a single creature that is alone. It's a single creature. That is alone. Uh-huh. So, who is this creature? The word in my head is Gog. Gog? Yes. Can you explain? That's the name? It's just the word that came up. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's, it's a... Uh, I mean, it's sort of like God pretending like it's not ah, God. Very interesting. You know? Very interesting. It's like a... It's funny because it almost... It's like a big baby. It's uh -huh. like a sad, lonely child. Uh -huh. <laughs> See? It's a sad creature. It's like a big, sad uh -huh. creature. And but this is... Sulking alone. Uh -huh. But this is not real. It thinks it's real. Mm. It thinks it's real because it, it, it has to think it's real to feel separate. Mm. And it's there to be uh, the experience it, of separation. Mm, but this is also part of the part of God. Uh, I guess ultimately it would have to be. Yeah, it cannot be anything else anyway. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like. What do you sense? It's like I'm looking at the yin yang symbol. Uh huh. It's in. It flows like it comes out of itself. It's like. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't invent this idea, but. Uh huh. What is his name? He's a scientist who thinks that the other side of the sun, the sun is a portal, mm. and the other side is it's a portal to another universe, and mm. on the other side is the black hole. Uh -huh. I kind of see it like that. It's like, you know, you know like the, I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing Michael as one of 12 universes. So 
let's say there are 12 archangels, yeah. and they're all on a wheel, it's as if all their heads are connected uh -huh. at the center. Uh -huh. And their arms and legs go out and create a wheel. Uh -huh. And in order to share information, the suns connect to the black holes in the other universes, mm. and they share information with each other that way. So yeah, it's a game, it's like, it's there to create motion, the darkness. Mm -hmm. So the sun is like the connector? The sun connects into another universe. So oh. it's a way that one archangel shares information with another one. And they pass people or ships or planets, whatever goes through, mm. it goes through a black hole, it comes out through a sun in another universe. So what a black hole's uh, function is? It's just a portal. Uh -huh. So it's not a positive or negative? Positive and negative in, in the way that these things exist to create motion. If it didn't, if it wasn't positive and negative, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be any motion, and then you'd just be up with me and the rest of the angels. Uh -huh. And we'd just be the we, always, uh -huh. and, you know, just, just in eternity, mm -hmm. or even one more level up, which is weird to think about in the I am, which is just always the light, it's always the light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in order to create motion for all the beings mm -hmm. that want to exist in the universe, there needs to be both things, the darkness and the light. Mm -hmm. And then they share, the angels share the darkness and the light amongst each other as these portals between black holes and suns. Mm -hmm. And so, that's how things travel through that. So, in a way, the sun is the opposite of the black hole. Yeah, but it fails me to, it doesn't explain it properly, but yeah. Uh -huh. they're, I, they're, it's almost as if they're like brothers, you know. Uh -huh. So I kind of understand what you said. It's a very difficult concept for human mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, uh, this has just popped up uh, to my mind uh, that so Phil had this um, conversation one time on how to say to understand the universe, and but that conversation was not something that uh, being remembered by Phil, it's a physical mind. So what that com conversation was about? What did he ask? I'm just getting that it's not important. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. So that so so Phil cannot remember for a reason. It's not. It doesn't even matter. Uh huh. It was just a moment for him to know what it's like to know everything. Uh -huh. It was beautiful. Mm. It's sort of like it's kind of an angelic. He's hooking up to an angelic realm. Mm -hmm. They know everything. Mm. He he had to experience it for a minute. It was just a reminder. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so w what about uh, Phil's uh, ET connections? More angelic reminders, it's all. Oh, it's a reminder. They're all levels of angels. Uh -huh. It's funny. Yeah, they're just levels of tears of angels. Uh -huh. It's just levels of manifesting. Uh -huh. Okay, so now the question is, what happened to Phil's left side of his body? What does it mean he went too far? He fell in love, uh -huh. and he felt like a woman he was in love with betrayed him, mm -hmm. so he abused her. Mentally? No, physically. Mm. She hurt him, and so he hurt her back. Mm. So what's, mm. He abused his power. Ah. So that caused the, it's the left side? Yeah, oh. it's like he, it's like he hurt, it, he, mm -hmm. he felt so bad about hurting her. Yeah, so he's abusing he blamed him. himself so much, mm. and didn't know how to forgive himself for it. Uh -huh. So he went too far. Uh -huh. And he knew he shouldn't. So, it's, it's so mm -hmm. what's the best way for him to heal himself? He's got to figure out how to forgive himself. Mm -hmm. Is he ready to do that? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm hearing ringing in my left ear. Ring? Ringing. I got a ringing in my ear just now. Uh -huh. What is that for? My left ear, because I'm ready You're to what? forgive myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you know how to? I think that's where I'm confused. Mm -hmm. It's that the lion, mm -hmm. yeah. because I'm one of the lions, Yeah. I'm supposed to know better. Mm. I have used my own power. Mm. <sighs> so when someone like Phil abused his own power, so he will become a more limited. Yes. Mm -hmm. He needed to know what it was like mm -hmm. to not be the lion. So the digest issue is also part of it? It's anger, mm -hmm. sadness, mm -hmm. blame. Mm -hmm. Why someone like Phil has uh, so much power? And he is uh, when and he has been on Earth for so many times, and why this still happens? It's almost like mm. to show himself what he could do. Oh. That he could make that happen. Oh, so that's a, that's the is that a, one of the purpose of this life? Was to feel purpose of this life? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just to be him. Uh -huh. He's just be himself. Yeah, it's like he it doesn't have to be right all the time. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to protect everyone all the time. Mm -hmm. 
He can be a... He can make mistakes. Mm -hmm. He he just wanted to see what it was like to be Mm -hmm. a person. Uh Uh-huh. A regular person. To get it, yeah, to see what they are. Mm -hmm. So he understood them. So that happens after the soul had many lives on Earth. They can choose to have one life, just have a kind of normal human life. Yeah, although it's not hasn't been normal. Mm. But yeah, you can to be free, mm. to choose, mm. to make mistakes. Uh-huh. To know what that is to make mistakes. Uh-huh. To feel the feeling uh, after the mis- mistakes. Yeah, I mean, there's so much, even things like shame and mm-hmm. so despair. Did, those are. Uh-huh. So this is uh, can be something that Phil did not experience before. Maybe not. Uh-huh. I think he has trouble identifying with other people. Mm-hmm. Mm, I think he got. I think he was too proud. Mm, being a lion, the lion. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, too so, proud. So, what is uh, his connection with the Venus? It's love. It's just about love. Uh-huh. He was uh, Venus. He was a. Yeah. Uh-huh. Venus is another step down. Mm, I see. Venus. I, I see. And how sort of like a prep before you come to Earth. Ah, I see. Mm. It's kind of like Earth, but it's not quite, so he can be prepared. Mm. But it reminds you, it reminds you about love. Mm-hmm. But also, there's feminine energy in yeah. Venus. So, is this true? The left side of our body more represents a yes. uh-huh, feminine energy? Oh. So, if he has a problem on his left side, it means his feminine energy is uh, like being abused? Yeah. So if we have any problem on the left side of our body, we can pretty much think that's the case? I think so. Mm-hmm. It's so simple. Mm-hmm. Um, what is uh, his connection with the uh, Atlantean and also the Morin? It's the male and the female. Sort of the Atlantean is more male uh-huh. and Morin is more female. Uh-huh, I see. Anything that when he was those energies uh, that affect uh, this life as a bill? It's the same story. Uh-huh. It's the male using power in Atlantis. Uh-huh. And abuse to their power. And abusing the female. Uh-huh. The Lavarians. So, yeah, they're sort of the victim side of the equation. Mm-hmm. Atlanteans are the victimizer. <laughs> uh-huh. And it shows if you go too far, mm-hmm. it is well, it just leads to destruction. Mm-hmm. So now, Phil is experiencing uh, in his body when he went that far. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he needs to find more balance. Mm-hmm. And is this something that is easy for him to, to do? Mm-hmm. It's almost like his female side has to forgive his male side. Ah, <laughs> so how to do that? Well, mm. female side needs to give up to the male side. Forgive it. Forgive. Yes. Mm. It's easy to say, but um, what to do to make that happen? Integration. Uh-huh. It's like everyone wants people to be one way or the other. Uh-huh. So I see. So it's imbalanced. Yeah, it's balancing the two sides of the self, mm-hmm. putting them, having them be equal to each other. Mm-hmm. But we probably don't know that what to do consciously. Mm-hmm. So let's say healing, mm-hmm. uh, like a session like this, can help a person to balance or yes. Uh-huh. It's like the energies are spilling out on the left side. Uh-huh. There's a hole in the left side, uh-huh. the ribs. Uh-huh. We're going to do uh, some energy healing today, uh, a little bit later. Um, I might have other questions. So, um, anything else that you see now that you want to let me know? It's all going to be okay. Uh-huh. Nothing to worry. No. Because he's so powerful. Yeah. He, mm-hmm. he can basically use his own energy to heal, heal himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's say by doing meditation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exercise, diet, uh-huh. meditation, uh-huh. forgiveness. Mm-hmm. He has to learn from working on forgiveness. Um, okay, I think he's aware of that. But let's say this feelings of, uh, let's say, being his uh, feeling of being stuck. Mm-hmm. My uh-huh. right ear is screaming. Oh, so w- what does that mean again? It's not stuck. Oh, I see. <laughs> so do you know what to do? I don't stop. Right. And so c- can we just do it when we understand this? We can just get out of this feeling that being you are being stuck. We can just get out like that? 
Yeah, it's like, again, it's the two sides have to work together. Uh-huh. You have to work together mm-hmm. to make forward motion. Mm-hmm. Can't be too much of one thing or the other. Mm-hmm. or think one's in control. Mm-hmm. You know, two sides have to work together, mm-hmm. and that'll open a path. Mm-hmm. Open a path. Yeah. Uh-huh. So when both sides work together, then you are opening this path to be who you truly are? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh. Mm. Is this one of the, the, the biggest thing or lesson that Phil wants to overcome in this life? Yeah. Uh-huh. How do we go? Uh-huh. Um, so if, if I ask this question, what is uh, Phil's mission in this life? What are you supposed to accomplish? Bring love to the world through expression. Uh huh. So, when you say through expression, what does that really mean to feel? What he can do to show his love? Just keep on making stuff and giving it away mm-hmm. to people. Uh huh. Just to keep keep expressing sh- himself. Don't stop. Uh huh. So, mm-hmm. so his career that he has right now is the right career for him. Yeah. Uh huh. So he because he can make his uh, expressions. Yeah, he just has to trust that it's going to work. Uh-huh. So he doesn't trust that it's going to work out because the two sides don't uh-huh. work working together. I see. So when you're imbalanced inside, then you will not be able to trust. Because one side is compensating the other side. Oh, I see, I see. And then he ends up doing stupid things instead of what he loves. Mm-hmm. He just has to do what he loves and trust. Right. Trust that it's okay to do that. Uh-huh. And so, uh, where is the best place for him to live? He doesn't feel that he keeps moving. What do you say? Uh, could be a good idea to check out Nashville. Uh, say it, one more time. It could be a good idea to check out Nashville. Ah. It could work here. Ah. It could work here. I don't think he really wants to live in the city. Mm-hmm. I don't think he likes living in the city. Mm-hmm. So, somewhere not too far away, uh-huh. but where there's more nature. Uh-huh. And Will work. Could, yeah. Just be open. It's got to stay open. Mm-hmm. Keep on checking in with itself. See what feels good. Mm-hmm. Be okay with not knowing, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna reveal itself to him. But if he doesn't move, it's okay too. I think he needs to move from where he is currently. Oh. Oh. But he needs to get open to options for where he could go, and maybe take a little journey to see what Nashville is like. Mm-hmm. If that feels good. It's all about if it feels good, mm-hmm. and so just needs to do a little bit of exploring, see if he can mm-hmm. find the right zone, mm-hmm. the right space. There's just there's somewhere, uh-huh. there's somewhere. Um, okay, so how about when it comes to true love? Mm-hmm. What what will happen in Phil's life? He spend enough time be alone. I think he has to keep on. Mm-hmm. Trying to make himself happy, mm. experimenting with his life to find out what what is really makes him happy. Mm. He doesn't need another person to make him happy. No, but it's like they sort of show up, and he's figured that out. Oh, so that there's a person. Sure. Oh, that is not going to take long for him to. He doesn't have to. Mm. It's up to him. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, this is a different question. So what do you say about the red moon? What do I say about the red well, moon? What is that? What is that? That was, that was people from Venus saying hello. Wow. Mm-hmm. So why red color? Uh, you could look at it like the color of love, uh-huh. like the heart. Uh-huh. You know, they call it the blood moon. So mm-hmm. maybe it's just more of a mm-hmm. heart energy mm-hmm. inside of that. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. So the, the, the beings from Venus are saying hi. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I thought that, you know, if at any planet I would think about Mars, because Mars is like red. Well, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That also can be from Mars. It wasn't, but, oh. um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And what do you say about Earth right now? What kind of a, the, the, how to say, situation where, what kind of a stage we're at? Good stage. Uh-huh. Earth, Earth needs people to follow their dreams, mm-hmm. believe mm-hmm. in the goodness of humanity, mm-hmm. and remember that ultimately it's all just the same being mm-hmm. playing this game. Yeah, and it, it looks a little bit silly from the planet Xenon. <laughs> yeah, it's mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. It just looks, from Xenon, it just looks separated. Mm-hmm. It's wild to watch, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, wow. What's that doing all by itself in a little <laughs> bubble like that? What's it doing? So, wow, it's real uh, brave to come here. Mm-hmm. Really brave of people to come here. Mm-hmm. Because, so, it's, because it's so 
it's so much separation that mm -hmm. so far it's scary, away. you know? Uh -huh, sometimes so, yeah, it feels so far away. And it feels that we are really experiencing the separation yeah. <laughs> from love. Yeah, but everybody knows mm -hmm. it's not really that way. It doesn't have to be like that. Mm -hmm. It's like people can be sensible about this and be, can just remind each other, come on, mm -hmm. it's okay, but it doesn't have to be like, all this nonsense. Mm -hmm. But the, the biggest thing I always feel is uh, People are working here. They're making a living. They're mm -hmm. working nine to five. That's okay. Oh, and for many years. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm. So they can experience it. They they are experiencing when they're working. Yeah, what these what it's like to be a person on this planet. It's a thing they're doing. Mm -hmm. and if they get sick of it, they can stop doing that and do something else. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep on reminding each other. Or that. we can ask the lions to help. Yeah, absolutely. We had enough. You find your lion. Mm. They always come. Yeah, inside of yourself. Mm. They're in you. Mm. So how, what they do to help? They give you strength. Ah, power. like an inner strength. Mm -hmm, and pride. Mm. Mm. So when we feel that, it's because they helped. Yeah. Mm. They're just reminding you that part of yourself. Mm. And you use mm. that force and that energy to propel you mm. towards what... And so everything is still from inside. This. Yes. We need to do the inner work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's just remembering, that's all. Mm -hmm. It's not too complicated, really. Mm -hmm. But we can make it complicated. If you want to. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Anything else before I will move to the next step to do some energy healing? Anything else that no. is important? No. Mm -hmm. It seems uh, right. we don't have to make it more complicated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, so now I want to feel to listen to my words again and just take a look using your spiritual vision to see those low energy, heavy energy, if they're somewhere really um, inside of this physical body and where, if they are, those energies are no longer serving you. Sort of uh, left kidney. Uh huh. Not surprised. Mm. What what type of energy is this? What makes you? What this energy makes you feel? What does it make me feel? Yeah. A lot of sadness. Uh huh. And separation. It's like that side of that feels abandoned. Uh huh. Kind of pain. Uh huh. Is this a uh, energy that you can say has a certain color? Purple. Uh huh. Is it? Like a dark purple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel, so, let's say it has a temperature, makes you feel heavy. Just hold on once. Besides this purple energy, anything anywhere else? A little bit of the liver. Uh-huh. And tell me the same thing. What does it... Red. Uh-huh. And what does it make you feel? What kind of uh, energy is this? Anger. Ah. Now, just to understand even better what this anger is about. What makes you feel, feel angry? Father. Father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else that makes this energy? No. Uh huh. All right. So the red energy in the liver and anything else? Just take a thorough look. Uh, it has to be balanced in the center and the third chakra. Uh huh. Power. Uh -huh. Rebalance and power. Mm hmm. Okay. It's like the two sides. It's like the male and the female sides. Mm -hmm. the, the, it's like the externalization of, the, mm -hmm. of it not cooperating. Oh, they're not working together. Yeah, and just to balance it. And the third chakra. Mm -hmm. I see. The third chakra. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Power. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. After the identification. So now I'm going to count from one to three. On the count of three. You are going to be transported to a very special place, and which is a, a place that can heal those energy. And you can think it's a healing center in the universe. And this place is the, the most relevant place for you to receive the healing today. And you can get there so easily, so quickly. And when I count to three, you'll be there and tell me everything about this place. And you also might meet with some energy or beings. So now, one, we're going to this place and you feel very excited and you cannot wait to be there. Two, you're getting there faster and you are almost there. And three, you are at the place. It's a ship. A ship. You are inside? Mm-hmm, on the table. 
What? A lot of table. On, on my You're what at the table? Sort of like on a bed, sort of. A table. Ah, very good. So is this a, a room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you see any any beings? Yeah. Uh huh. What do you see? Very tall. Uh huh. Thin. Uh huh. They look like a aliens. Yeah. Uh huh. Big guys. Looks like they have uh -huh. long arms. Uh huh. What's the color of the skin? Can't see it. Mm. And how many do? This is, there's just really one main one that I'm dealing with. Oh. And do you hear anything from him? Putting his hand on my heart. Bring what? Putting his hand on my heart. Oh, okay. And let me know what does that make you feel. Just keep breathing. Mm -hmm. And keep relaxing. And allow them because they know what they're doing. And they know you. And trust. I'm putting a white stone in my third chakra. Oh. On Venus. Venus. Mm. White stone. So this stone will open the chakra? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to emanate white light uh -huh. from the third chakra. Yeah. Little by little, it'll heal the whole surrounding area. Uh -huh. It's like that whole area needs to be reminded mm. what the angelic light feels like. It's mm. going to cut off from it. Uh -huh. So over time, little by little, it's just going to keep emanating white light mm -hmm. into the body mm -hmm. and the spirit. Remind it all what it's like to feel mm -hmm. complete again. So you kind of feel this is something that the feeling is familiar? Keep breathing. And you can do the communication at the same time. If you want to find out about this being, they are multitasking. Or it's more Christ energy. What energy? Christ, more Christ energy. Oh, do you know that you, how they know you? You can ask. Say I'm part of their family. Oh, so where are they from? Pleiades. Where? Pleiades. Oh, see. So what they, uh, what else, let's uh, see, what else they use to heal your the liver, your kidney? Mm -hmm. Just he says, just want to heal yourself, just focus on the mm -hmm. white crystal in the third chakra and have it emanate white light into oh. the body. Oh, so you can heal yourself. Mm -hmm. Very good. So do that. Keep breathing. Mm -hmm. Keep using your imagination and feel the difference in your liver and kidney and feel the crystal light is healing them and the light that is something that you can make it bigger, brighter, and stronger. You can adjust it. Use your consciousness to do this operation. I don't think you remember everything. Mm -hmm. M the most you can remember is like 70%. Okay. Maybe not even. Well, we'll check it out, right? Because, uh, let's say, if I ask you how long do you think it has been? How long was it? How long do you feel? I don't know, two hours. Okay, so, so just by that answer... It's a guess. Right, right. Uh, because you kind of know how long it takes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you see? Um, okay, so... Was it that long? Yeah. It was? Oh, wow. It didn't feel like two hours. See? So you shouldn't say that. You should say, okay, like 20 minutes. Uh -huh. No, I mean, my guess is that it was probably... I mean, because... Uh, things always go, the time gets all wonky with stuff like this, so yeah, I would guess it would be longer than I would think it was. It didn't feel short though, mm -hmm. but it didn't, it wasn't all that conscious of time. I did start to feel like I had to use the, I had to go to the bathroom though, sort of in the middle of it, so mm -hmm. that was kind of... And if you did, it will be okay too. Mm -hmm. I didn't, but I, I think I do have to, but um, that just was just making me more aware of my body. Mm -hmm. And so see, you don't have to go to the deepest level, right? right? It's really, uh, you know, and I um, don't really enjoy when people go to that level. You know, the one thing is they talk oh. very slow. Oh, really? Extremely slow. Like, mm -hmm. uh, not, not just slow, they, the words are slow. And then they, if I ask anything, like, oh, what do you see now? Um, it takes like 30 seconds, sometimes a minute for them to say anything. Mm -hmm. And that just keeps on going like that? The whole time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that's why I bought this software um, to... Actually, the software is not for a session like this, but it's perfect for my session. That self software can take the silence out. Mm -hmm. So, because it's not enjoyable when you watch. Right? Yeah. And I don't have to do this for the client, um, but I do when I feel, oh, this session, we need to cut the si silence, because otherwise you will be frustrated like when you watch. So I... I some. I Are you edit it? I do that and then send to them. Mm. I don't have to. I really, I'm like a perfectionist uh -huh. sometimes, right? <laughs> sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, not all the time. With my own thing, maybe it's okay. But mm. with other people, I try to do my best. Um, 
uh, I feel the message, right? It's your session. This, this is what I do. I uh, first of all, I, I choose a certain session. You can. You, you wanna... No, it's okay. I'm listening to you. And, uh, yeah. If I, I feel you the that. message is not just for you, um, it's more for humanity. Right? Mm -hmm. And I will ask, will you? Right? Are you comfortable sharing? Mm -hmm. The video and I don't think it's personal. I don't feel it's a private and it, there's nothing private. <laughs> I'm just so st silly. We would say, oh, it's my it's privacy. Uh, yeah, we're all connected, <laughs> right? In a way, yes. Yeah. And because it's fear, you know, those things are behind. I'm not saying you and like we have a lot of words actually just represent fear. Mm -hmm. And but um, what I feel about this. Um, I really, uh, maybe next my, um, if I walk a journey, I can go to that planet, Zena. Zena. Mm -hmm. I can picture everything. Mm -hmm. I can totally understand. Oh, you can? Okay, Phil. Um, I want to ask you, after this session, what it will be the best way to describe how you feel now and before the session? Um, uh, the best way to describe how I feel now is I feel very um, uh, peaceful. Mm -hmm. And I feel pretty centered, actually. Um, uh, I thought you, 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 we had a really good talk before we started it. Mm -hmm. So, and I felt like you did a really nice job of like gathering information and trying to understand where I was coming from and disclosing some of your experiences as well. And um, um, and then it was a, it, it was sort of like a nice flow of uh, the the actual session itself had a really nice flow to it and you seemed to adapt really well to the different kinds of weird things that were coming out of my mouth you know yeah. from time to time yeah. and um, it uh, we even did like a little bit of a, a energy session at the end of it which was nice mm -hmm. and uh, actually gave me like a little Gave me a meditation that I can try out later on on my own. Yes. So that was really helpful, um, and um, it was just a fascinating experience to see what sort of stuff comes out of your mouth, you know. And mm -hmm. um, and you, it was, it was pretty fun. Uh huh. And uh. so when you talk, you feel like um, you don't know what you're gonna say, but you there are certain things will come out from your mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you don't uh, you don't know what you're gonna say. Mm -hmm. But um, the important thing is to just let it go and let your let the let whatever is going to come out of your mouth come out of your mouth, yeah. and then yeah. you sort of surprise yourself with the information. So mm -hmm. um, it was fascinating. I, I you know I'd recommend it as an experience for anybody. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Good to hear.